Having a chat with a scary clown down in the sewer? Ah, what's the worst that can happen? Today's video, we're going to be heading downstream as we have a look at the Funko Vinyl It. This is Pennywise and Georgie. The first thing we'll do is figure out how tall these vinyl it figures stand. We're going to take the Ultra Measuretron, put it to the very top of Pennywise's curl, and stopping it right there. I think that's a good place to stop it at. The Ultra Measuretron tells us that the vinyl figure of Pennywise the Clown stands 5.2 inches. Or in centimeters, that works out to be 13.3. Now, I haven't forgotten about you, Georgie. Even maybe the rest of the town has forgotten about you. And I'm going to switch that back over to inches. There we go. And we're going to measure it from the bottom to the very top of Georgie's hood. Stopping it right there. You could probably guess that he's, he's going to be a little bit smaller than Pennywise. To be exact, he stands 4.4 inches. Or in centimeters... He, we switch that over to centimeters, 11.2 centimeters high. Now, you've seen enough of these vinyl figure reviews to know that they both come with clear display stands. Maybe you don't know that. So, okay, well, let me be the bearer of good news to tell you that even if the figures don't stand properly, and some of the vinyl figures don't, they do topple over, rest assured the folks over at Funko include, with their vinyls, clear display stands. So I don't really necessarily have problems with these two characters. Taking Georgie off, for example, and putting him down, despite for the fact that he may look like he's top-heavy, he still stands fine. I don't really need these display stands, but I'm going to include them nonetheless, because if you can get any bit of an aid with stands, I don't see why you would want to go without stands. Just to also clarify as well that the stands look like they are identical to one another, even sharing the exact same peg size to one another as well. We're going to go ahead, just for the sake of, you know, they are included after all. I'm going to attach these back into their feet. And as you can see, both the figures only have one peg. So one peg hole. So we're only going to attach the peg in the one supplied hole that's available. Why don't we first look at poor Georgie. I haven't forgotten about you, Georgie. We're going to look at you first, and then we're going to look at the very creepy-looking Pennywise the Clown. Now, Georgie makes only a small appearance, both in size and time, at the beginning of the movie. Um, he does have with him the included SS Georgie, a little paper boat that, unfortunately, is sort of the catalyst, if you will, as to why Georgie vanishes. Um, they've done a pretty good job of his hood, although I have to say... I don't know why that they use two different types of, of plastic. It does look like maybe the jacket, as well as the bottom area of his hood, is one type of plastic that is possibly painted. The plastic, however, that's on top of his hood is a completely different plastic altogether. And you can see, you can very clearly see how the colors are completely different from one another. This was sort of a more matted kind of... Um, like a lemon yellow, for example. This is a much more sunnier lemon yellow. <laughs> I'm describing them with lemons. But I don't know why that the coloring has to be off the way that it is. It clearly looks like it's two different yellows. I guess that's the material that they ended up ultimately going with. It's just strange, the fact that they it's so such a cut-off line the way that it is. Anyways, the face sculpt is sad, downtrodden. And looking at him, I have all the utmost sympathy for poor little Georgie. Of course, he doesn't fare all that well in the remake. He fares so much worse in the remake than he did in the, ori in the original television It miniseries. Lend him an arm, if you will. If somebody has not... I'm not spoil it if somebody has not seen the movie. He's got himself like a little pair of... Would you call those galoshes? That's a term that makes me sound awfully older than pro probably what I really am. Galoshes, little tiny rain boots. Above that, looks like he's got a pair of blue pants. And uh, one hand is kind of just draping to the side. The other hand, other hand holding the little SS Georgie boat, which is, by the way, not removable. Posability, unfortunately, I don't know what's going on here. There we go. Posability on Georgie. It was really stiff before I started this review. I, f I guess it finally just said, ah, you know what? 
you're reviewing it. It's the least we can do. All right, just let it go, guys. Let the man turn the head on Georgie. What I would have initially said was a really stiff neck that I can't rotate. Sure enough, he does have head articulation, and that's about all you're really going to be getting from it. But that's okay. I don't really expect... My expectation level isn't considerably high where I want these to be able to dance and do unique poses for them, because that's not really what these collectibles are all about. Just a little side note before we wrap up the look at Georgie. I like also that they put little freckles above his nose. Okay, Georgie, now you can just float away. Having a look at Pennywise, as you can see, he's got a much larger stature to him. He's a much bigger, bulkier figure, much bigger head as well. I heard, so, certainly hope, certainly hope, certainly hope that this isn't the last time we're going to get a vinyl figure of Pennywise. He certainly has many different sides to him, if you will, many different expressions in the movie, some scarier than others, and I hope any one of those trickle their way down, almost like the SS Georgie, into new vinyl figure releases. I mean, they could also certainly do exclusives. We've seen that before with some of the Funko Pop vinyl figures. Why don't they actually do it with the vinyl treatment as well? Make them exclusives to certain stores where you get the expression on Pennywise a little bit different than the one that you bought at a regular store. Contained in his hand is a balloon. Contained in his hand is a balloon that I wish actually was a little higher than what it is because it doesn't look like he's all, he's actually holding it from the rope. Instead, it looks like he's holding it from the actual tied-off portion of the balloon. It's awkward, but I guess that's what they had to do in order for this one, and this one does have much easier head articulation. They probably did it, I guess, so that the head could rotate around. I guess one plausible thing that they could have done, too, was have the string out this way and then the balloon sideways. So it didn't actually look... It looks actually more like a, a candy, a candy on a stick, than it does an actual balloon. The more vintage-looking clown costume has never looked better here on vinyl form. I like the little ruffles, the ruffles on the top there. Not restricting at all his posability in his head. His head very easily can rotate all the way around. Very bright orange colored hair. I don't know about you, but I am super excited for it too. And I hope we get ourselves a trailer very, very soon. I, up to the point of shooting this video, yet to get ourselves an actual first hand look, first glance, if you will, at It Chapter 2. Or is it just It 2? Um, love the expression on his face. I love also the fact that the vinyl figures all have definition to them. They have 3D elements to them. They're not simply just printed across the face like they've done with a lot of the pop figures, for example. No, here we've actually got a little bit of a nose. Now, I don't know what's happened with the nose because they've actually painted beyond the point of the nose. Does Pennywise's nose actually look like that, where he's got the little knob on the end, and then he's got red around the nose? I'm going to have to definitely go back and have a look at that. Like I need a reason to go back and watch it once again. Coloring's nice and clean. I don't really have any issues. QC issues, if you will. I like also that they've put these little, little lines also in his belt, just to kind of give him some extra detailing. Once again, posability on this guy. His head just rotates all the way around. The same as Georgie, although much easier when I initially got this out of packaging. You could even do a very creepy looking head spin on this particular one because the head is just loose enough that you can move the head and spin it all the way around. Funko, if you are watching, I doubt that you are because I'm not the biggest fan of some of your stuff that you release, but certainly for vinyls, I'm down with that. And I'm certainly also down with the fact if you guys would be open to the idea of giving us variations to this Pennywise. I really do like Pennywise quite a bit. No offense, Georgie. Don't take it any bit the hard way, but I really like this Pennywise quite a bit. I'd love to see variations of it. Maybe we even like the body being kept the same and just the expressions on his face being changed. I mean, really... For the fact that this is just printed on, his nose is really the only thing that would stay the consistent same. They could easily change the facial expression on any one of future release Pennywise, and I really hope that's the case. By the way, FYI, this review was made possible because of viewer Bill, who took the time and sent these my way. A big thank you once again to Bill for taking the time and the resources to send this stuff my way. I have yet, up to this point, even seen these in stores. Now, I checked one comic book store, the one I frequently go to, and they kept saying that they didn't have it in stock. I suppose I could have shopped around to other stores, and yet the universe smiled down on me, and viewer Bill ended up ultimately sending these my way. I love these. I question a little bit the materials why they used it the way that they did for Georgie's head because the yellowing does doesn't quite match the rest of his outfit 
but still quite loving these vinyl figures, and I hope that we may see another appearance of Pennywise, not necessarily in IT Chapter 2, but another version of Pennywise coming to us from Funko under the Vinyls banner. Let's hope so. In the meantime, today we were having a look at the Funko Vinyl. This was IT, the first IT. This was Pennywise and Georgie. Poor little Georgie. Not only has he lost his boat, we're going to just say boat, but he's also lost the ability to have matching colors in his yellow hood to his yellow jacket, like he doesn't have enough problems to worry about. If you guys haven't, by the way, had a chance to subscribe to this channel, don't let a creepy clown in the sewer to convince you otherwise. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below, and while you're also at it, why not hit that little bell notification as well? Lately, I don't know why, but YouTube, with all its algorithms and all this other fancy stuff that they like to sell us on, for some strange reason, these videos that you guys are currently watching or not so much watching right now are getting lower and lower views. I think it's somehow the exposure of what these videos are getting out to the masses. Subscriber counts aside, the views are almost dictating the fact that nobody are watching these videos. So, if you do get the opportunity to check out this video, not only do let me know what you guys think of these collectibles, but make sure you sort of help and share these channel videos around too. It helps content creators a big way because maybe not everybody is getting a chance to see these. I don't know what's happening with the algorithm and whatever else YouTube wants to sell it as, but reviews unfortunately and views traffic views on these videos are dropping more and more just don't know what's going on but i'm gonna push forward ever the diligent reviewer that i am i've been doing it for almost 10 years now and i'm con gonna continue to put out content hopefully more and more people will be able to see it and hopefully youtube will finally get their stuff figured out maybe 2019 will be the year that youtube gets everything right we can only hope and in the meantime, I'll continue to put out, put out content on a regular basis, usually often several videos a day. And I apologize for 2019. Maybe I'll find a better way to sort of sporadically place or spread out the amount of videos that I'm posting on a regular basis so that you guys aren't always bombarded with the vast, vast volume of stuff that I'm always doing. A lot of stuff that we're going to be working on for 2019. A lot of stuff also 2019 fyi youtube you should be working on as well either way guys thanks for watching as you always do here's to the end of the year coming up very very soon and to the bright start of 2019 i'll see you guys next time